Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome to episode number nine of our Cold Water series. Our mission is to intercept replenishment ships that are heading for the Arabian Sea and they departed the South American area. We actually managed to intercept them, or what I believe to be them, in the South Atlantic. We're moving in at 10 knots. I'm actually going to drop that down and go to ultra quiet for the time being. And the sea, sea conditions are pretty rough up, so I'm sure it's going to be a bit loud. Yeah, 108 decibels. And we should have... Okay, we actually must must have lost contact on them. What was their last known bearing? 241, contact faded. So we're heading more or less towards them. Let's come up to periscope depth, up to 15 meters here, and we'll take a look. I'm also going to deploy the tow array in the meantime. See if we can pick these tankers up. There we go, CR1. And there is active pinging. Okay, good to know. Okay, we're going to go ahead and maintain this depth then. Okay, let's try to identify Sierra 2. And yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to pick out what she is. I'm not sure if that's the target that is currently pinging. It may be just one of the merchant ships. I'm guessing... Let's go through the oilers first. U.S. Fleet Oiler. Yeah. A lot of these lines... My contact is faded on Sierra 1. Here we go. U.S. Fleet Small Oiler. Oh, there's a possible. Here we, I think this may be it. U.S. Cargo Ship. That looks pretty accurate to me. I'm not sure exactly what Sierra 1 is. Let's actually continue to go up to Periscope. See if we can find something up there. How far away are we? 24 kilometers, okay. So Sierra 1's are uh, our enemy escort. Let's adjust course slightly. And our total ray has been retracted, I guess, since we're so close to the surface. She can... Okay. Never mind. Alright, let's raise our ESM mast. There it goes. Okay, yeah, she's close, and Master 1. Now here's the question, do I blind fire at her? I'm, I'm debating it at this point. Okay, drop back down, 76 meters, that's still above the layer. Oh no, it's definitely not. 46 meters then. Okay, once we're down to 46 meters, we'll deploy our tow array once again and try to pick up where Master 1 or what Master 1 is. Let's see, can we deploy it now? Yes, we can. There we go. Got Master 1 picked up here. Signature. It's most definitely a warship. And we have Sierra 3 further to the west. Okay. Sierra 4, Knox. Okay, let's see what Sierra 4 is. she pinging? Let's check the merchant ships first. Here we go. Another cargo ship. Sierra 3. We're going to go with the cargo ship for the time being. And we will flip through these. U.S. military transport now. Let's go through the mer neutral shipping. Yeah, it's just a merchant ship. Okay, so we just have one Knox. I'm debating firing at her now. We have 27 on passive. It's not bad. Oh, she... Okay, the position has updated. I could just fire from here. Uh, 
I am slightly concerned about hitting Sierra 5 if it is, in fact, a neutral merchant ship. Am I getting two pings? Sierra 6. Yeah, this is the other ship that is actively pinging. Just picked up Sierra 7 as well. A parry. Okay. Another parry. She can barely hear us, so. Yeah, these terrible uh, conditions are definitely helping us out. Okay, it looks like the enemy convoy is heading southeast. Not even heading towards us. I could maneuver behind them all the way and fire from that position. Or I could just fire from here. We're pretty close. Eight kilometers away from zero, four, and six. Or eight kilometers away from their possible positions. Hmm, decisions, decisions. How many granites do I have? I have ten. We'll let them keep on sailing around. This Nox is a little concerning. We have a 70% solution on these cargo ships, so there we go. That Nox is a little close for comfort. It's heading straight for us. Still doesn't know we're here, however. And there's a helicopter flying about right there. Don't like that at all. And the Nox is inside minimum range. Where's that helicopter? There it is. Just flying behind us. Still less than ideal having it in this position. Harry's there. All right, I think we're gonna fire at this Nox. We'll fire a kit. Hopefully that'll obliterate her in the 65, 76 torpedoes. We'll have it run on the surface. He is wake homing. All right. Don't have a real good solution on the Nox. Maybe I should wait just a little bit. Let's adjust our heading. New heading 260. Use a little bit of time compression. There we go. Rudder midships. All right. She's in the middle of a turn. Oh, she can hear us on active. That's not good. Okay, tube. I guess three. We'll fire around here. Hopefully that'll pick it up. Up its wake. These are wake homing torpedoes, so I'm just trying to be cautious about that. All right. Fire. There we go. Tube three's away. If she counterfires, we'll launch our our granites as quickly as possible. Hopefully she did not hear that launch. She most certainly can hear us on active, however. We can actually take a look at her. She's just sitting here. I wonder why she is stationary. Man, can you imagine landing that helicopter in these conditions? That has to be extremely difficult, I would imagine. Like you have pitching deck and it's dark. Anyway. Okay, yeah, torpedoes racing ahead towards the target. Okay, she most definitely knows we're here now. Okay, there's the counter launch. Hopefully our kit comes up to the surface. There we go. Wow, that was good. Okay, it's racing up to the surface. Hopefully it'll pick up her wake. I am worried about this little guy. Mark 46 that she launched. There's our kit torpedo. I want to flip to that. There she is. She should acquire this wake. Come on, little guy. Ugh. You know, I know you can do it. Is it really going to go right on past? I think it is. Wow. Okay. I guess it's time to 
fire another torpedo. Okay, we'll fire this one. Tube six. Fire. Unfortunate part is some of these cargo ships are inside minimum range. So I can't really fire our granites just yet. I need to get away from them. That's fine. They have a range of like 500 kilometers, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. And it looks like that torpedo is going to whiff as well, but it is heading towards the rest of the convoy. God, she is so close. Okay. Third time's a charm, hopefully. I don't like that sound. Got a torpedo on the water. That torpedo's gone active. And they fired a Mark 46. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got her. Third time's the charm. Okay. It's been a long time since I used those wake homing torpedoes. Had to brush off some of the dust, I suppose. I'm honestly surprised that uh, first one we fired did not pick up her wake, but I'm sure these weather conditions make it a little difficult for those torpedo sensors. But thankfully, that third torpedo we fired did just fine. And our other 60, uh, 6576 torpedo may go right into the convoy. That is a possibility. For now, we're going to turn away and try to put some distance between us and the rest of the convoy. And fire my granites off and finish this job. Still sitting right at the lair. Okay, tube three is ready. Tube six is almost ready. The convoy is turning tail and running. That's good for us. Is the parry in range? Indeed, it is. Unfortunately, we don't have an accurate range on her, but we have an accurate bearing. I think she is far enough away. Do I want to risk it? She is closing. I think we will risk it. Go ahead and fire now. So we'll give away our position, but also the rest of the cargo ships. We have their bearing, but not their uh, range. I think she is outside of the 7.5 kilometer. Bubble, that's 7.4, okay. Okay, we'll have the missile skim the surface, wide search area, fire. Okay, next up, cargo ships. There we go. All Missiles away. That should be more than enough to uh, do the job. Let's go down below the layer. Down to 137 meters. Is our missile? Something ate it right there. I wonder what just got hit. Where's our missile going? Oh, it's searching, I, pick, I guess. Okay, this missile landed on something. When the parry's destroyed, one cargo ship. I'm not seeing any of our other missiles. Okay, so it looks like a few missiles hit the same target. Level out. And we have a torpedo that dropped right on top of us. Retract the total ray, start making turns for like 20 knots. Oh, not that fast. Try 15. You still cavitating? No. Okay, total ray is almost in. There we go. Alright, full down on the planes. We gotta get we gotta get under away from this torpedo. This was probably fired by that parry. Okay, rudder amidships here. Moving away from this torpedo. We have another parry back here, Sierra 7, that we need to be worried about. 
I think we'll be okay. Okay, level out here. 200 centimeters, that's fine. We have six granites left. Probably have to uh, return home to Murmansk after this one. Once this torpedo runs out of steam, we'll fire at the rest of the cargo ships. Wipe them all up and finish the job. We've already sunk three of them, though, so so far so good. Looks like we've made pretty good progress. Putting quite a bit of distance between us and the hostile torpedo. It should run out of fuel here shortly. They don't have a whole lot. Let's start adjusting. There we go. All right, back up. Up to 61 meters. Now let's go to 46 above the layer. Adjust our course. New heading 3... Yeah, 300 should be fine. Perfect. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, we have no idea where the remainder of the ships are. Just this general location. Everything's loaded up. I could use these 6576 torpedoes. Although, I think I'd rather save them. How many do I have? I have four. Oh, we'll see what the uh, situation warrants. Drop down back. Drop back down to five knots, please. Coming up nice and fast, passing 110 meters now. Can use some time compression and speed this process up. There we go. There we go. Reacquired the targets. No clue. There's the parry. It's probably heading straight for us. That's my guess. Sure is. Is it out of range? It's still within range. Periscope depth. Turn towards target. Okay, we're at 16 meters up scope. Let's find out exactly where this is and we'll fire. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. See nothing. I don't see anything out there. Okay, he, here's hoping she's outside of uh, range here. If not, our missile will probably go on and hit one of the cargo ships. Fire. Flip to our missile. There it is. Looking good. Hopefully it picks something up. Okay, it is homing in on something. That's reassuring. Let's see if it hits a target. Boy, it's so close to the water. Okay, well, here's the parry. Okay, it missed. It's searching. It looks like it's going back in on something. Here we go. Got it. Whatever that was. Was that a cargo ship? Whatever it is, it's still sailing. That is impressive. It's not the parry. We hit something else. Reload and a torpedo just splashed right in front of us. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. Um, fire one kit towards the parry. Fire. One moss away. S turn tail and get the hell out of here. Drop down deep, 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 deep. All right, let's see. These torpedoes are swinging back around. Increase speed to 10 knots. 
We're gonna cavitate for a little bit. We're gonna have to. Okay, it should quit here shortly. There we go. Both torpedoes are either going for me or the decoy. It looks like they're going for the decoy. Let's put some distance between us and that. We'll see if this torpedo runs across the Perry's Wake. Okay, both torpedoes are homing in on the MG-74 noisemaker. That was a good thing. A good call. Okay, we are currently at 120 meters. Increase speed to 15 knots. Did we bag another cargo ship? I wonder what we hit. Helicopters buzzing overhead. While we're being loud, let's reload. Okay. And here's something that's concerning. They're coming back around. We are at almost 300 meters. Rudder amidships. Level out here as well. Another torpedo in the water. It's circling. Which is nice. That was probably dropped from that helicopter. It's making noise. I can't see it, but I, I do hear the little guy. There it is. Really difficult to see. Okay, we'll start moving. Alright, tube three ready. Another helicopter drop. The Perry has dropped a noisemaker. That means our 6576 torpedo has homed in on her. Which is good. So we have another cargo ship on fire. The Perry is evading. We'll just have to probably fire two more missiles to, to clean it up here. Looks like the Perry just knuckled. Alright, tube five is ready. Perfect. Let's keep on running away. More another noisemaker. Her time has to be running out. There we go. Perry is sunk. Contact's breaking up. Let's flip to her. Lots of torpedoes in the water. Oh my goodness. Oh, wrong, wrong key. Well, here's the helicopter. I guess I can't flip to the Perry. Oh well, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Now time to put distance between us and these uh, fish. There we go. They're all exploding, running out of fuel. Okay. Back up one more time. This should be the last time. The only thing we really have to worry about at this point is the helicopter. If that helicopter wasn't in the area, I'd raise my radar mast and find out where these cargo ships were. wonder if that helicopter has expended all of its torpedoes, however. Oh, shoot. All right, back to five knots, please. Can rig for ultra quiet while I'm thinking about it. Harry. Reestablish. Was there another parry? What is going on? Okay. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's doing a handstand. Okay. <laughs> Deploy her to the ramp. Okay. Let's see what we can hear. Is that helicopter out and about? Not hearing it. That's reassuring. Up to periscope depth, please. We'll raise the ESM mast. There's still something out there. Yeah. I guess we could use active sonar. Seeing as there's nothing, uh, I guess the helicopter does have sonar buoys and dipping sonar and things like that, but I could just fire the missiles. 
in that direction. We probably hit something, right? The helicopter has to be the only thing that's picking us up. I'm debating raising the radar mast. It's raining now. Okay, raise the radar mast. Let's do it. Got anything? Okay, lower it then if we're not picking anything up. I think I'm just gonna fire. We'll have the, we won't have the missile skim the surface either. We'll just kind of uh, spread them out. One here. And one here. There we go, two away. Lower the ESM mass. Secure our active sonar as well. Let's find our missiles. This is a helicopter using a dipping sonar. Oh, is this one going in at something? Oh, we got one. Somewhere. Oh, right in front. They both went for the same target. That leaves just one more out here somewhere. She's going down. There's one more. Man. May just have to let her go, huh? It's pretty far away at this point. Far away. It's only around 15 kilometers. I'm surprised we didn't pick it up on a radar or anything, though. Are we free to leave? We are free to leave. Storm high winds, apparently. I think we'll get out of here. If one merchant ship gets away, that's okay. Overall, this was mighty successful in my opinion. We do need to head home back to Mermas to rearm our boat, though. We're running mighty low. We only have three P700, so let's go ahead and leave combat. Yeah, one cargo ship managed to escape, but we sunk one Nox, one Perry, and two other cargo ships for 59,260 tons. Not bad. Let's continue. Congratulations on a job well done. The NATO warships in question ha now have to withdraw from the theater of operations to resupply w from one of their bases. New orders to be issued on this downlink. So that was our mission objective. Perfect. Uh, the Navy is coming. The Soviet Navy and submarines took several new strategic positions, including near uh, the some area. Uh, it is classified for, <laughs> we, we don't know. In response to a significant reduction in naval activity, sources close to Moscow say that the war is taking a heavy toll on the enemy's military operations and their supply lines continue to be severely strained. Okay, here are our new orders. According to intelligence from Malaga Naval Base, an attack aircraft carrier is preparing to patrol the Mediterranean Sea. This will threaten our supply ships. Be aware, we have learned that several nuclear submarines will cover the carrier. Your task is to destroy this group of vessels before they locate any USSR military transport vessels. Okay, so primary objective is to sink the carrier. Continue, and continue on course. Of course, now our main objective really is going to be to head back to Murmansk and rearm this boat. So hopefully we'll be able to make it all the way up there without running into any serious trouble. However, I really do doubt we'll be able to get that far. Anyway, that will end today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching as always. If you did like it, please be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.